So what about for people who end up crowdfunding Mm -hmm. and then their model doesn't come through the way they think? Like what's the risk involved there for them? Well, it it depends on um, on what type of crowdfunding you've done. So there's really kind of three ways to look at it. You have, uh, you know, the sort of the GoFundMe route, the the donation base, where you know I uh, have a don't you know I, I I'm sick, you know the funeral sure. costs, all kind of see these online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no there's no tie to that. Here's your twenty bucks and move on. Then you have the reward-based type crowdfunding. This would be your Kickstarter or like your Indiegogo. So typically that's going to be attached to some sort of product. Like I'm pre-ordering this widget or this thing that I'm going to go make. So you're going to give me money. I'm going to disappear for eight months. And then I'm going to come back and ship you the product that you basically pre-ordered. Inside of that, there really isn't any obligations, unfortunately. And there is fraud in all of this that I'm going to talk about. But yes, you are taking a chance that, hey, this owner, this person, I believe in them. They're going to go and make the widget and send it to me at some point because I believe in them to that degree. 